everyone you are welcome to network tips so before we can go ahead to install our build automation tool i want to show you how we can uh, quickly resolve this issue of error 403 in va uh, no valid chrome uh, issue in jenkins so let's take for example uh, we want to install a plugin we go to our manage jenkins and uh, we go to tools because that's where you install plugins if you have if you already downloaded the plugins on your on your jenkins and uh, you come here so you can see the error uh, http error 403 no valid chrome was included in this request so let's take for example we want to add this to maven i will come here we click on add to install this to maven i do maven give it a name then i'll come here and i'll click apply so this apply is going to prompt me error it's going to give me that same error error 403 no valid chrome was included in this request I'm going to show you how we can quickly resolve this. This is uh, an authentication error. So the Jenkins is all a, is assuming that we are coming behind a proxy server. So for us to you know forge ahead and you know uh, uh, ahead of this issue, we're going to show you how to do that. So uh, get back to this your manage Jenkins uh, uh, page. Then click on security. Then on security, we are looking for enable proxy compatibility so if you click ahead if you click on this question mark you can read further uh, what this stuff is going to do for you it's going to help you to forge ahead when you are on a if you're coming behind a, a proxy so jenkins assume that we are coming behind proxy so for us to just you know solve that issue just uh, click on this enable proxy then click on apply or let's just click save rather click on save so it's going to prompt you, it's going to have some issue and Apple you need, but you can still just do it again. Click on save again, then you're gonna have some errors, quite uh, some errors doing that, then let's try that again. Then this time around, I think it should be fine. So, so we are cool. So if I come to this security now, so you have to try it more quickly multiple times before you to be enabled because of the you always get that error so you can see uh, the enable uh, proxy uh, compatibility is now checked so uh, if I go back to uh, to my manage Jenkins uh, page I will show you that uh, we no longer get those uh, error messages again so you can see those error messages has uh, disappeared so I can quickly just add my maybe uh, maybe uh, to I click on Maven, click on apply, then you can say save. Then I'll save my uh I'll save it and uh, everything is fine. So that's how you can solve the uh, no valid Chrome uh, request uh, issue in Jenkins. So in the next class, we're going to uh, see how we can install uh, uh, administrative uh tools like npm and docker on our uh jenkins as well and also plugins how we can install additional plugins so with that it will bring us to the end of this class thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel